And I'm going to preface this by saying, don't buy a new cell phone unless you really, really need it or you really, really have the money. Okay, YouTube. Uh, hi, nerds. How are you? It's a short episode. Um, really, we don't have anything in comic books. We don't have well, I do just so much is kind of missing, but we also have some important stuff to talk about in gaming and tech as well as, uh, yeah, that's the, probably the biggest thing uh, the movies where we have another movies update that we're going to be talking about. And I have to correct myself as made uh, evident by somebody in the comment section on one of the syndicated shows. I misspoke. Uh, I, I think I wrote the notes down wrong and I don't know why that happened. We'll get to that before, uh, before we do the we have to get to the uh yeah the title it, that mm. okay nerds uh before we get too deep into this i just want to remind you if you have not already please hit that subscribe button i do see the analytics and i do know that those that watch this don't always subscribe so uh, i hopefully today will be the day that you decide to push that button and ring that bell so you know when your nerd news has been posted so you can stay up to date with the rest of everybody else or even even more update than the people you know because oftentimes i find a lot of misinformation out there that we like to get to the bottom of right here on this show so all of that being said, thank you very much for joining me, nerds. Let's get into the news. Starting things off, we have music news. Uh, this is actually, I think, our biggest section, technically, of the episode. So, yay, music news. Uh, we're going to start things off like we do in the follow-ups section. Uh, first is Rob Zombie, that record that he just put out, Lunar Injection Kool-Aid Conspiracy Theory, that is quite the mouthful, uh, just dropped, and it is number one on Billboard. So congratulations to Rob Zombie. I have yet to listen to the record because I want to do at least one reaction video to the singles uh he's dropped two so far i believe a third is in the works uh as far as music videos go uh so we will be doing reaction videos to that very very soon uh moving right along our next piece has to do with avenge sevenfold also a very quick follow-up their album waking the fallen which is arguably their best record to date and it's their second technically their third but second major label record or label record at all uh, has just hit platinum in the States, so congratulations to the boys in Avenged Sevenfold. Uh, and then our final follow-up has to do with Meshuggah. Meshuggah is now in the studio. They just posted this, yeah, over here, this episode, or this picture to their Instagram. That's, uh, and they's kind of cryptically not saying anything, but honestly saying things because we, we had an interview with Thomas Hawk, Hawk Hay, I can never remember how to say his last name, the drummer from Meshuggah, uh, just did an interview a few months back saying that they've been writing pretty feverishly, so it only makes sense that this image means that they're going into the studio. So, hooray, new Meshuggah, follow up to The Violent Sleep of Reason, which came out uh, approximately four and a half years ago at this point, so this will be a pretty quick turnaround for the boys in Meshuggah, but still or no it wasn't even that long ago it was 2017 so a little over three years ago anyway all of that being said awesomeness is happening we're going to get into the actual news portions now august burns red is our first piece august burns red is putting out a new ep it's called the guardian sessions this ep is going to be uh making up those random releases that they've been doing over the past couple of months the uh system of down cover they did uh west or not westworld yeah westworld uh was it Westworld? Was it Game of Thrones? I can't remember. One of those two shows, they they did a metalized version of the theme song, which was pretty awesome as well. Uh, it is going to be six tracks. It is going to be released April 16th on vinyl and digital release only. I, I don't know of many bands that are doing CD releases anymore, so if you don't collect vinyl, then physical media is no longer an option for you, it would seem. But yeah, so August Burns Red, April 16th. Super excited about it. Moving on. Our final Final piece has to do with another announcement going into the studio, but since this isn't a band we keep the closest tabs on, it's not really a follow-up, Ginger, the unstoppable machine from the Ukraine, are jumping into a Kiev studio to work on their fourth record. Uh, no word on when they plan to release it just yet, but... 
they are recording it. So hopefully within the next year, approximately, uh, we will be hearing new music from Ginger. So pretty awesome. That is the music section today, nerds. <laughs> Gaming and tech. Gaming and tech. We have one follow-up in gaming and tech. And I'm going to preface this by saying, don't buy a new cell phone unless you really, really need it or you really, really have the money. Uh, If you have an Android phone, this happened to you yesterday. All of a sudden, everything crashed because Google did an update to uh, a system file or a system uh, driver or something. I'm not in, I'm not 100 up on the voca- vernacular for Android phones. I apologize, or smartphones in general. Uh, but it was called System Web View. If you have Chrome in or, or installed on your phone, then it, you did not see this file this system web view file but it is a part of chrome so that is why your phone was also crashing left and right so the update to this uh, file to this app i guess is the pro- is the appropriate way to put it uh is it was very very problematic was making anything connected any app you have that is regularly connected to the internet crash and crash and crash even if you weren't using it it was going down baby um so there was It took a few hours. It wasn't until approximately 4 a.m. my time, uh, which is in California time, 3 a.m. where Google is based, or 2 a.m. rather. Uh, So it took all day, effectively. Uh, but there, it, it, there is light at the end of the tunnel. So uh, the best way that I know to fix this problem, if you have Chrome installed on your phone, uninstall Chrome. Then you should be able to see the System Web View app. That System Web View app is the problem. So they have now released a proper update to that WebView app that you have to go do manually. Go to the Google Play Store, look for System Web View. You should see it. They, they there's there's all kinds of stuff on the webs right now. If 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 uh, you, if what I'm saying doesn't make any sense, they should be able to walk you through it. But that is the basics of it. You need to replace your System Web View app, and then everything should go back to normal. It's it's a, it was a really crazy to see yesterday everybody factory resetting their phones and just to have that not work either uh, so people lost all kinds of information couldn't conduct business for hours and hours and hours and hours yesterday so uh, thankfully the solution has come and it does seem to be working so uh, and all of this ha- is tied into Android uh, the new uh, Android 11 operating system which they're trying to update for which is why they were updating the system web view app in order to make it compatible with 11, but then apparently it wasn't compatible with any other version of Android. So big backfire, but that is all we have for gaming and tech this episode. Let's kick on down the road. Normally, we would be talking about comic books and books right now. However, uh, there's no comic books news. I'm sorry. There's no books news either that was really worth... I mean, everybody's always putting out books, but there's nothing like crazy noteworthy that's coming out right now to my knowledge if you know better then please let me know in the comments or in you get to find me on the social medias or whatever so because that is the situation Let's get into TV streaming. In TV streaming, we have some follow-ups, we have a correction, and we have one piece of news. So we're going to start things off with the correction. I I stand corrected on one of the, I can't remember which uh, uh, syndicated outlet I got this correction on. I believe it was Big Show Entertainment Network. Because I don't really hear from the people necessarily very much over on Nerdy Legion as far as listeners go. But uh, either way, I'm sure somebody caught it on the Nerdy Legion feed as well. Uh, Let the right one in. I'm just I'm going to stop burying the lead now. Let the right one in. I said was French like 17 times. And I do apologize. It is not French. The movie is not French. The book is not French. It is Swedish. I think I wrote it down in my notes incorrectly because I think I was mid-conversation with somebody when I took that note and the word French came up and then I clung to that. I don't know. There's no excuse. It was stupid. I'm a big dum-dum. I understand that. I hope you do too. Now we can move along on the same page. So that is our one correction. Our first follow-up has to do with the ongoing Batwoman situation. Apparently, Kate Kane is returning to the series. 
even though they said she probably wouldn't. And now they are also recasting Kate Kane, even though they said they definitely wouldn't. Uh, they have recast the part uh, with an actress named Wallace Day. Um, I, I'm not 100% familiar with her work. I know she's she's got a little bit of nerd cred. Uh, I can't. I, I didn't put in the notes because it was a follow-up, so my notes are even less detailed for follow-ups. But uh, she has done some nerdy things in her recent past filmography, um, but nothing extensive. So maybe it'll be. Okay. Maybe she'll be a better actress than Ruby Rose. Ruby Rose. I kind of dig Ruby. Just I didn't like her as Batwoman. So I don't know. Very interesting situation. Maybe this is a sign of them trying to wrap things up so that they can tie a neat little bow on it for season three. Maybe this is almost confirmation of rumor that we talked about in the last episode. We're uh, only time will tell. We're going to be moving on. Our next piece of follow up news has to do with American Horror Story. Uh, I should have mentioned it in the previous episode, but I didn't because I was waiting for the official announcement and not the announcement of the announcement because that would have been even more silly, I feel like. But yeah, the official announcement for season 10 is that it is going to be called Double Feature. Uh, one by land, one by sand was the very quick description that we got from Ryan Murphy. Um, uh, it sounds like aliens and sea monsters and weird. It's American Horror Story, so what else could we expect? It sounds, though, that this is going to be a little bit more of a return to form uh, for uh, the previous seasons leading up to, I think Roanoke was the first one that really broke the mold, and then 1984 was pretty different as well, though kind of a return to form almost, so this sounds like it's going to be more of that return to form to those first, like, seven seasons, roughly, or six seasons. I think Roanoke was seven. Anyway, uh, so yeah, season 10, going to be interesting. Let's move into the actual news for today's TV streaming section, and that is Berserker. Uh, for those of you that have been following the the, the proper, my generally nerdy uh, news feed on YouTube or on uh, the SoundCloud or iTunes or wherever you're listening on the audio version, uh, then you know that Berserker is the Keanu Reeves comic book that has been put out by Boom Studios that was entirely crowdfunded and blew up, is the largest release that Boom Studios has ever had. So the Upper Ups at Boom and Keanu Reeves and a company are all getting together with Netflix, apparently, to turn this into not just a series, but also a movie. Apparently, it's going to start off as a live action movie starring none other than Keanu Reeves and produced by Mr. Reeves himself as well. Uh, and then it's going to move into an animated series with Keanu Reeves doing the voice for the main character. <laughs> like you would expect. Uh, and also with uh, Upper Ups Boom and Keanu and some over at Netflix being producers on the project. Sounds pretty freaking awesome. I can't wait. Uh, there was no release date just yet, as you would expect, because they did just announce the existence of the project. Uh, that being said, we will be keeping tabs on it. And that is all we have for TV streaming, nerds. So let's get into the movies. Movies is just follow-ups today. We only have three follow-ups. Uh, one of them's kind of a bummer, and one of them's kind of a sign of better things out on the horizon. So uh, the bummer piece is The Flash. Michael Keaton did an interview recently with Deadline saying that he is not 100% signed on to the project. Uh, there's a lot going on in his life, apparently. This is just one of many potential projects, so apparently he has not signed any kind of contract, though he is under, I don't know, maybe maybe he has signed like a perspective, uh, a prospective prospect contract woo words um but but nothing that has nailed him in for sure to this movie he hasn't even read the script according to the interview with deadline so i feel like he should be reading the script if he wants to do the movie right uh we'll see uh so he said that it largely depends on how covid uh projects and how things related to covid kind of unravel over the next few months out in the uk which presumably is where they're going to be filming a big a large bulk of this movie so 
uh, we'll be keeping tabs for sure, but at least we know for certain that he is interested, kind of, in the project. He has also not been signed on to do anything with the Batman Beyond Batgirl situation that has been kicking around in the rumor mill for so long, so that a lot of nerds are going, ah, that's a horrible idea. Why would you do that? Um, so that's kind of good for them. I mean, if you're looking forward to Batgirl Beyond, then maybe you're kind of bummed, but I honestly don't know a lot of nerds in that camp. So yeah, moving right along, our next piece has to do with Disney uh, and their movie release schedule. We have a couple of moved release dates, so we're just going to go over those real quick. Black Widow, oh, I guess the first piece also, the first part of this also has to do with Black Widow. The, uh, the official announcement has been made that it will be released theatrically as well as on Disney Plus. They have said that it will be a premiere release on Disney Plus, so you will have to pay more to watch it, even if you are already a Disney Plus subscriber. Because that is the case, though, we have seen previous entries into this category release at $30 on top of your Disney Plus uh, subscription. So presumably, in order to watch... Uh, Black Widow on your Disney Plus subscription feed, you will have to pay something akin to $30 as well. And then it'll be, I, th I believe they're 48 hour rentals. And uh, yeah, that's that's what your 30 bucks get you. Uh, so the other piece that we have in today's, oh no, we're, we're talking about Disney still. I apologize. Uh, so on June 9th is when that is going to happen. Uh, no, no, official, no official word on the price. Shang-Chi also got a new release date of September 3rd back from from July 9th. And then Free Guy's new release date is August 13th. Free Guy is the video game centric Ryan Reynolds project that has been on ice for some time. And then the final uh, relevant one for the nerd community is Kingsman, which is the prequel to the Ki the, the Kingsman the service, whatever, the comic book based one that's in Britain, whatever. Uh, December 22nd for that movie. Kingsman, December 22nd. So that is what we have for the Disney release schedule schedule and now our big uh up, up, uplifting piece for this section is regal cinemas has officially announced that they will well cineworld i guess has announced in be on behalf of regal cinemas because cineworld is the parent company of regal has announced that April 2nd is going to be the day that they officially reopen again their movie theaters. Uh, I say again because they did it once previously. Uh, I don't remember what movie it was. I know I did a review of it for Big Show Entertainment Network, but uh, yeah, uh, Tenet, that's what it was. <laughs> brain fart. Uh, so this is then they closed back down very shortly after and now they're reopening and it sounds like this could be the reopen to end all reopens. Uh, it's going to coincide with the release of Godzilla vs. Kong. So movie theaters will be open for Godzilla vs. Kong and then hopefully from there on uh, presumably also for Mortal Kombat which is to approximately two and a half weeks after Godzilla vs. Kong. So that's what we have for the movie section. Rumor mail. Um, uh, if I introduce the section, the introduction is going to be longer than the actual section itself. So we're just going to jump into it. First things first in the rumor mail, we have a rumor that is Microsoft is going to buy Discord. Uh, Discord is looking to sell. This is news. This is not something that people are just kind of putting out there to see what sticks. Discord is legitimately looking for either someone to buy them out or to invest approximately 10, I believe the number was 10 b -b -b billion dollars. Um, and Microsoft right now seems to be the most likely buyer of the of the of the IP. They're going it's going to be an outright purchase according to the rumor and not just an investment into, you know, being uh, one of the largest investors in the company. So uh, Microsoft buying Discord. Uh, there is a lot here that says yes. Uh, Microsoft buying up competition. Microsoft buying things to keep them relevant in the new digital age. All of that is happening. The, the, the recent purchase of Bethesda kind of speaks very to huge volumes for this. The loss of Mixer kind of was a big hit for them, or a hit, not hit in a good way, like they took a hit there uh, because that 
took them out of the streaming game. So Discord is kind of streaming adjacent because a lot of streamers have Discord servers for their paid subscriptions and so on and so forth. So it'd be very interesting to see if this is real. Validity behind this rumor because of all that, because we also know that Discord is looking to sell, I this there's pretty good chance this is legit. I'm putting this right about 75% only reason I'm not going higher than that is because we don't know that it's Microsoft necessarily that's going to be purchasing the company. It just seems the most likely. So our next rumor and our only other rumor is another source telling us a, this, a similar thing that we've been hearing for a while. Uh, this it, It's still kind of all squirrels back to one original source, but then there's been corroborating evidence and corroborating leaks and so on and so forth. has to do with DC Comics, not DC IP in general. So this has nothing to do with any of the uh, animated live action series or animated or live action movies. This is just the publishing of the comic books. It seems that we we have more rumors or insiders letting us know things uh, that are that's saying that uh, Warner Brothers and AT&T are in fact looking to sell off or at least shutter the comic books side of things. Uh, and this new rumor goes on to say that we actually have a couple of pretty large bidders in the purchase of said comic books. Uh, the first being Robert Kirkman, the guy who gave us The Walking Dead, apparently, is one of the front runners, as well as Steve Geppi, who uh, is one of the upper-ups over at Diamond Distribution, who, you know, sell the comic books to the comic book shops, then, then sell the comic books to you. You can also go direct from Diamond, but whatever. Um... It sounds like, according to the most reliable place for this rumor, it sounds like the possibility is that each of these two entities, so Kirkman and Company and then uh, Steve Geppi, are both going to be potentially optioning different parts of DC publication that they will then have the exclusive rights to do as they wish with the publication. <laughs> so make the books, you know, produce the books, so on and so forth, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, because we keep hearing this, and because we get a little bit more with each rumor that is released, the validity here is slowly raising. Last time we didn't give it a whole lot of validity, but this time I'm going to give it just a slight bit more. We're going to say probably about 30% likely. I still feel like comic books are at least the big, the main comic books that DC is still publishing, i.e. Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman. Uh, at times, uh, some of the Vertigo books. Uh, definitely, like, reprinting Watchmen has got to be just printing your own money at this point because it's, like, the most famous comic book ever, almost. I don't know. But so, yeah, 30% validity here. It seems like there is plenty of reason for WB and AT&T to hold on to publication, but it also seems like there's a little bit of reason for them to not because they're making not as much money on the movies as they once thought they were going to and so on and so forth, etc., etc. So that is what we have for the rumor mill, guys. That is also the episode. What did I miss? What should we talk about in the next one? Let me know in the comments down below. If though you want to go deeper in the conversation, jump over to the website, generallynerdy.net. Or patreon.com slash generally nerdy if you want to support much more directly there's also a nerdy store you can do a one-time purchase get some nerdy swag and help the channel out that's always an option that is up on the generally nerdy.net website as well so go check out all the things find me on the social medias just look for that nerdy ninja and then you'll find me, baby. Uh, yeah, so all of that said, uh, there, there should be stuff popping up right there to the left of my face. I'm sorry, the right of my face. You can click or tap to see other stuff going on right here on the channel. Thank you very much, nerds. Before I go, always, always remember that if it's generally nerdy, it's probably here. <laughs>